Good morning everyone. Uh, today's video is going to be what I eat in a day and you've been asking me a lot about my diet and what do I do to stay healthy and just as a disclaimer this is not a weight loss program or anything like that. These are the type of foods that I enjoy eating and that I mainly focus on consuming because they're super high in nutrients as well i try to keep it simple i don't want to stress or obsess about what i'm eating or not i just try to make healthy smart choices throughout the day but if i feel like having a burger a dessert or whatever i feel like i have it i mean <laughs> but Overall, I try to stay healthy, to eat as clean as I can because it just makes me feel great and it just gives me so much energy and this mother of two needs it. <laughs> so yeah, morning, welcome back and let me show you what I eat in a day. First thing in the morning, I start out by drinking my warm lemon water. It is very good for your digestive system as it helps to cleanse and detoxifies your liver and it boosts your metabolism as well. It is super easy and quick to make. Just squeeze a lemon and mix it up with warm water and voila, that is it. So that's what I have as soon as I wake up. After that, I always start by drinking either a green juice or a smoothie. Love smoothies, it's such a practical way to get plenty of nutrients and vitamins in one go. Today I have a special assistant with me. Um, I like to make my own almond milk. I wanna make sure I have 100% almond milk, so I make it myself. And it is very easy. It's just a very practical process. I just suck the almonds in drinking water overnight and the next morning I blend them with more drinking water. The proportions are three cups of water by one cup of almonds and you can keep it in the fridge. It lasts for up to five days. To not throw anything that's being left from the almonds, you can use this to make your own almond flour by baking it in the oven at a low temperature until it dries up. To make my smoothie this morning, we want a berry based one, so we are using some frozen blueberries and strawberries, very rich in antioxidants. Um, we're going to be using as well some organic wheatgrass, great for regulating blood sugar, killing cancer cells and alleviating inflammation, flax seeds for fiber and chia seeds rich in omega oils. Now I add some banana that is a great source of potassium and some organic honey. Oops, <laughs> someone can't wait. Then I add some of the almond milk that we previously made and some coconut cream for an extra kick of flavor and that is it. Let's blend it. And there we have it, a delicious smoothie packed with nutrients and antioxidants, ready to be enjoyed. Right after my workout is breakfast time and I'm just obsessed with this recipe. It is a simple but super tasty egg and avocado toast. I start out with two eggs that I'm gonna softly boil. Eggs are not only a major source of high protein but also of calcium and vitamins like B2, D, E and K and besides of being super delicious and filling as well. I use this organic rye bread, I prefer it over wheat and it's a great source of fiber, magnesium and I just like to toast it for a little crunch. Now it's time for one of my favorite fruits in the entire world and that is avocado. What can I say, it is so good and super healthy for you, it has great fats and potassium among so many other nutrients and it just makes anything you cook taste so much better. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day and this is the type of recipe I look forward to because I really love it. Now I'm just going to place my avocado over my toast and my 
eggs on top of that. Oh my gosh, this is so good. A little bit of salt, black pepper, and it's ready to get in my tummy. Mm. At around 11 in the morning, I feel hungry again, so I prepared this yogurt parfait with chia seeds, strawberries, coconut yogurt, and some granola. Berries are just so good for you guys. They're packed with antioxidants and vitamin C, so they're a great source of youth. <laughs> Now I'm going to start layering my yogurt, some berries on top, chia seeds for more omega, granola, a little bit more, <laughs> and more yogurt on top. I will finish it up with some more berries and chia seeds don't go anywhere and that's it yum yum for lunch today i'm really running so i'm just gonna do something very easy but highly nutritious and I'm just gonna splash a little bit of olive oil and bake some salmon in the oven a little bit of salt and some herbs and I'm gonna cook some Peruvian asparagus of course they're so good I wash them very well Just cut the ends that are quite rough and I just gonna boil them for 30 seconds exactly. I like them crunchy, I don't like them overcooked or very soft, so just 30 seconds is enough. A splash of olive oil there's never enough olive oil in my life I just love the taste and it is also really good for you and voila salmon and asparagus a quick super easy but filling lunch for today I had a super light lunch so I'm gonna make a snack for me and it's gonna be this apple and almond butter. Usually I use almond or peanut butter, but today I'm going to choose almonds. It is a very easy and quick snack, but it's really filling. It has good fats with the almond butter, but it also has a great natural source of sugar and carbs with the apples. Now it's dinner time and I'm gonna prepare this dish for everyone at home. My kids love it and this is such a great dish to incorporate vegetables into your meals. Um, I'm gonna start by making this marination for the chicken. It's just um, low sodium soy sauce, some garlic powder, ginger powder, cinnamon powder, some oregano and a little bit of sesame oil and I'm just gonna marinate the chicken with this sauce. You can do this um, the night before or early in the morning. I think 30 minutes before um, the cooking time would be enough. And I'm just gonna seal the chicken to keep it juicy inside. I keep on turning it until it becomes golden brown and now is the time to start adding 
the vegetables. Here you can get as creative as you want. These are the vegetables I had at home, so I'm just going to start with some broccoli. My kids adore broccoli, so this is seriously one of their favorite dishes. Now I'm going to add some um, spring onion heads. You can add cauliflower, um, Chinese beans, anything you want. Really, this is such a versatile and easy dish. It's very, very quick. I'm adding some mushrooms. and some bell peppers that I previously roasted and removed the skin from. Some of that spring onions and that is it. I'll give it a toast. I will cover it and let it cook for five to 10 minutes. That's all it takes. I will serve it with some brown rice and that is it for my what I eat in the day video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!